When we think of robots or automatons, we often imagine modern technology or science fiction. But did you know that the concept of robots dates back thousands of years? From the ancient Greeks to the Renaissance, inventors and dreamers have been fascinated by the idea of creating artificial beings. Let's explore some of the most fascinating ancient robots, those mechanical marvels that predate electricity and computers, proving that the human desire to create artificial life is as old as civilization itself. Our journey into the world of ancient robots begins in Renaissance Italy with the ultimate Renaissance man himself, Leonardo da Vinci. Now Leonardo is renowned for his artistic masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, but his brilliance extended far beyond the canvas. In 1495 he designed a mechanical knight, now known as Leonardo's robot, or Leonardo's knight. This automaton, hidden within the armor of a medieval knight, was a marvel of engineering for its time. Imagine this, a suit of armor, seemingly inanimate, suddenly springing to life. Through a system of pulleys, cables and gears, the knight could perform a series of movements that would have astounded anyone who witnessed it. It could stand, sit, raise its visor, and even move its arms independently. This wasn't just a party trick, it was a groundbreaking exploration of human anatomy and mechanics. Leonardo's meticulous notes and drawings re reveal his deep understanding of gears, levers and human movement knowledge he applied to this robotic knight. While the original Leonardo's robot is lost to history, perhaps hidden away in some secret archive modern day recre recreations based on his detailed designs, give us a glimpse into the ingenuity of this renaissance genius. The quest to create artificial beings wasn't unique to Europe. In fact, ancient Asian cultures, particularly China and Japan, boasted a rich tradition of automatons, showcasing their own unique approaches to robotics. Our journey takes us back to ancient China, nearly 4,000 years ago, where we find evidence of sophisticated mechanical devices. Texts from around 2000 BC describe intricate wooden humanoids capable of moving their limbs and even dancing. These early Chinese automatons, often found in royal courts, were more than just entertainment. They reflected a deep fascination with the natural world and the desire to replicate it. Fast forward to 17th to 19th century Japan, where a new breed of automatons known as karakuri emerged. These intricate mechanical puppets, often used in theater and religious festivals, were celebrated for their lifelike movements and ability to perform complex tasks. Imagine a karakuri serving tea, its movements so fluid and precise that it seemed almost human. The craftsmanship involved was astounding with skilled artisans using gears, levers, and even mercury-powered mechanisms to bring these automatons to life. Let's return to the world of Leonardo da Vinci, where art and engineering intertwined to create another astonishing automaton, the mechanical lion. This wasn't just any lion. It was a symbol of power and prestige created as a gift for King Francois I of France. Imagine this. The year is 1515 and the court of the French king is abuzz with anticipation. All eyes are on a magnificent mechanical lion, a creation of the renowned Leonardo da Vinci. With a lifelike gait, the lion paces towards the king. It's every movement a testament to Leonardo's mastery of mechanics. But this is no ordinary beast. As the lion reaches the king, it opens its chest, revealing a hidden compartment filled with fleur de lis, the heraldic symbol of France. This grand gesture, a fusion of art and engineering, would have surely impressed the French court solidifying Leonardo's reputation as a visionary inventor. Sadly, like many of Leonardo's creations, the original mechanical lion is lost to time. However, historical accounts and Leonardo's own sketches have allowed modern engineers to recreate this masterpiece, offering us a glimpse into the grandeur of this royal gift. Chapter 4. The Digesting Duck, A Mechanical Illusion from the grandeur of the French court, we journey to 18th century France, where a different kind of automaton was captivating audiences, Jacques de Vaucanson's digesting duck. Now, Vaucanson was a master of mechanics, renowned for his intricate creations, but his digesting duck was in a league of its own, a marvel of biology and engineering that pushed the boundaries of what was considered possible. Imagine this, a mechanical duck, crafted from gilded copper, its wings adorned with meticulously placed feathers. This wasn't just a static display. The duck moved with lifelike precision. It could flap its wings, bend its neck, and even eat grain from a feeder. But the true marvel lay within. Vaucanson claimed his duck could simulate the entire digestive process. Audiences watched in awe as the duck, after consuming grain, appeared to digest it, eventually excreting a pre-loaded substance resembling bird droppings. While later revealed to be a clever illusion, the digesting duck sparked widespread fascination and debate about the nature of life itself. 
could a machine truly replicate of a Yao? Um, a living being? Vaucanson's duck? Though ultimately a sophisticated trick, fueled the ongoing fascination with artificial life, blurring the lines between reality and illusion. Chapter 5. The Turk. A chess playing hoax. Our exploration of ancient robots takes us to 18th century Europe, where a chess playing automaton named the Turk captivated audiences and sparked controversy. This was no ordinary automaton. It was a cultural sensation, a machine that seemed to possess human-like intelligence. Picture this, a wooden cabinet adorned with intricate carvings, and seated atop a life-sized figure dressed in Ottoman garb, a turban gracing its head. This was the Turk, and it claimed to be a chess playing automaton, capable of defeating even the most skilled human opponents. Created by Wolfgang von Kempelen, the Turk toured Europe, challenging and defeating renowned thinkers, politicians, even Benjamin Franklin himself. The idea of a machine outwitting humans at a game of strategy was both captivating and unsettling. However, the truth behind the Turk was a closely guarded secret, hidden within the cabinet, concealed by a series of mirrors and compartments, was a human chess master, operating the automaton's movements through a complex system of levers and gears. While ultimately a hoax, the Turk's enduring legacy lies in its ability to blur the lines between reality and illusion, raising profound questions about the nature of intelligence and the relationship between humans and machines. Chapter 6. The Steam Man powering into the future. As the 19th century dawned, a new era of technological innovation was on the horizon, and with it, a new breed of robots powered by the might of steam. In 1868, inventor George Moore unveiled his groundbreaking creation, a steam-powered automaton, aptly named the Steam Man. Imagine this, a towering figure crafted from iron and steel, its mechanical limbs driven by a coal-fired steam engine. This wasn't just a stationary display, the Steam Man could walk. With a steady rhythmic gait, it could cover an impressive 9 miles per hour, a testament to the power of steam and Moore's engineering prowess. While the Steam Man wasn't designed for practical tasks, it represented a significant leap forward in robotics. It showcased the potential of steam power in driving complex machinery, and fueled dreams of a future where automatons could perform laborious tasks, freeing humans from physical drudgery. Though the Steam Man ultimately faded into obscurity, its legacy lived on, inspiring future generations of inventors to explore the possibilities of steam-powered robotics. Chapter 7. Talking Heads. Whispers of Artificial Voices. The quest to create artificial life wasn't limited to physical form. Inventors were also captivated by the idea of machines that could speak. Enter the era of talking heads, mechanical marvels that blended artistry, mechanics, and early sound technology. One of the earliest examples, shrouded in myth and legend, is the brazen head, attributed to the 13th century scientist and philosopher Roger Bacon. Imagine this, a metallic head, crafted from brass or bronze, said to possess the ability to speak and offer prophecies. While accounts vary, the brazen head captured the imagination, fueling legends of artificial intelligence and forbidden knowledge. Centuries later, in the 19th century, Joseph Faber took the concept of talking heads a step further with his invention, euphonia. This sophisticated automaton, resembling a human head and torso, utilized a complex system of bellows, reeds, and levers to produce sounds, mimicking human speech. Imagine this, euphonia, seated before an audience, its lips moving in sync with spoken words, its voice, though mechanical, eerily human-like. While euphonia ultimately fell short of true speech synthesis, it captivated audiences, blurring the lines between human and machine, and paving the way for future advancements in speech technology. Chapter 8. The Papa Moscas, Guardian of Time. Our final stop on this journey through ancient robots takes us to the Burgos Cathedral in Spain, home to a unique automaton known as the Papa Moscas, or flycatcher in Spanish. This isn't just any automaton, it's a timekeeping marvel, a testament to the ingenuity of clockwork mechanisms. Imagine this, high above the cathedral floor, nestled within the intricate facade, a curious figure stands guard. This is the Papa Moscas, a whimsical automaton that has marked the passage of time for centuries. As the hour strikes, the Papa Moscas springs to life. Its arm, powered by a complex system of weights and gears, rises to strike a bell, announcing the time to all who can hear. But that's not all. In a charming display of animation, the Papa Moscas also opens its mouth wide, as if to catch a fly, hence its peculiar name. The Papa Moscas is a reminder that even in ancient times, robots were more than just mechanical curiosities. They were integrated into the very fabric of life serving practical purposes, while also delighting and inspiring those who witnessed their intricate movements. 
Ultra, a legacy of ingenuity. From Leonardo's mechanical knight to the intricate karakuri of Japan, these ancient robots were not just feats of engineering, but also sources of wonder and inspiration. They remind us that the quest to create lifelike machines is as old as civilization itself. The ingenuity displayed in these early automatons, often created with limited resources and technology, is a testament to the boundless creativity of the human mind. So, the next time you encounter modern robots, remember its ancient ancestors, those mechanical marvels that paved the way for the technology we have today. Stay curious and keep exploring the marvels of history.